Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Max, I remember from the early age on, you only ever wanted to be a teacher. You've made your dreams come true, and what a success you've been. I'm confident you'll make a wonderful wife to Rob and a loving mum. Rob and Maxine have brought us here together for an occasion of great joy and the cause for great celebration. This ceremony is a symbol of how far they've come together under the promise that they will make to each other to continue to live their lives together and to love. Rita, I'm sure you would agree our daughter looks stunning and very happy. You're a wonderful mum who continues to give endless love, dedication and encouragement. Max, your mum and I are immensely proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all to start? Welcome everyone. Rob and Maxine, the symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed, well, we meant every word. Before this moment, you may have been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another in the last few years. Now you'll say a few words to each other and things will never be quite the same. But after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Rob, choose you, Maxine, in the presence of our friends and family to be my wife and partner from this day forward, to love you, to be a comfort and safe haven in your life, to hold you close, to listen deeply when you speak, to uphold you with my strength, to weigh the effects of the words I speak and the things I do, 
to never take you for granted and to always give thanks for your presence in my life. I, Maxine, choose you, Rob, in the presence of our friends and families, to be my husband and partner from this day forward, to love you, to be a comfort and safe haven in your life, to hold you close, to listen deeply when you speak, to uphold you with my strength, to weigh the effects of the words I speak and the things I do, to never take you for granted and to always give thanks for your presence in my life. With this ring, I am giving you my promise to always love you and cherish you. To always love you and cherish you. Honour you and comfort you. Honour you and comfort you. I promise that I will love you. I promise I will love you. And keep my heart open to you. And keep my heart open to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. With this ring, I'm giving you my promise to always love you and cherish you. To always love you and cherish you. Honour you and comfort you. Honour you and comfort you. I promise that I will love you. I promise that I will love you. And keep my heart open to you. And keep my heart open to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. It's now my duty to officially acknowledge your union as husband and wife. You may now seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Now it's customary for the bride father to offer the newlyweds some profound advice. I'll simply say, be true to each other always. Share your joys and burdens. Love much and laugh much. Be each other's best friends. And when things don't go well, forgive as often as required. Married life is an adventure, and today you embark on this together. So it generally makes me happy to stand here today and say, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, on behalf of my wife and I, <laughs> welcome to our wedding and thank you so much for sharing a special day with us. It is great to see you all. Ladies and gentlemen, a big, big welcome to our bride and groom, Maxine and Rob, the new Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. My wife. Where to start? I'd just like to say how beautiful uh, my wife Maxine looks today. 
When she walked down the aisle, she took my breath away and does so on a daily basis, even if I don't always tell her. I would also like to thank her for arranging this amazing day for us all. She worked tirelessly to get it organised, liaising with people from halfway around the world, and we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her, so thank you. I can't thank Maxine enough for being a huge support to me since we got together and an amazing mummy to Harlow. She is our rock, we would be lost without her and we both love you more than anything in this world and I am proud and honoured to call you my wife. As Winnie the Pooh once said, any day spent with you is my favourite day so today is my new favourite day. So, if you could raise your glass, I'd like to make my first toast to my wife and the new Mrs Phillips. So 30 years, where do I start? Walking to school, climbing trees, hanging around on the church in Blakely Village, walking the streets in Failsworth with friends we've met at Sea Cadets. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Sea Cadets. <laughs> where myself and Rob would get together twice a week and dress as sailors. <laughs> From me to you, mate, we're going serious here now. From me to you, mate, I just want to say thank you for all our memories and for the rock you have been when I've needed you the most, even if it's only over the phone these days. You are a true honest guy with good values and I know I'll be doing another speech when we reach the next milestone in our lives. Now before we all get a little bit worse for wear and Rob shows us all his hideous dance moves and auditions for the next Magic Mike mover, will you all join me in a toast to Mr and Mrs Phillips? I would mic drop but it's there. Yeah. 